Red Square. My name is Mark Lynn Campbell and this is Sarah Peterson and we're with um, Positive Places which is a subcommittee of MWPHA, Metro Washington Public Health Association. And today what we're, we're here for is we're fighting for housing for those living with HIV AIDS in the District of Columbia. And today I represent a house. So what are you hoping to accomplish here today at the rally? I would say that we're just really hoping to generate awareness about the importance of uh, housing for people living with HIV and AIDS and uh, its uh, role in prevention, preventing the spread of disease, and also the uh, mortality associated with it. Can you explain a bit about what we're doing here, actually? Today we'll be marching from Lafayette Plaza to the Wilson Building. And uh, why is this important to you? Why are you guys here? Because AIDS is not in recession. Fantastic. Anything else you'd like to add for uh, young people in the United States? Uh, basically, I mean, if they can be activists and advocates for issues that they're passionate about, it's really worthwhile. All right. Fantastic. Good luck. Thanks, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Lindsay. I'm Kelsey Abergel. I go to George Washington University, and I'm an intern for Africa Action. I'm Nathan Salikin, and I'm a recent college grad, and I'm an intern at Africa Action. So what are what do these classrooms represent? Are they supposed to represent the people that have been killed by HIV? They're supposed to represent the people that have been killed by HIV. So this is in their honor. What do you think is the biggest issues um, that people are facing with HIV? I think the lack of access to health care is one of the biggest issues, and uh, well, because we interpret Africa Action just on the African continent itself, um, the lack of education, the lack of protection, and mobilization. Uh, yeah. What do you think the U.S. can do to help solve those problems? Definitely increase funding for HIV AIDS awareness and, uh, and access for health care. Yeah. Oh, okay. well, thank you. Thanks. And I would dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. In Zimbabwe, the country where I come from, only three out of ten people who need life prolonging ARV drugs have access to those drugs. And uh, there is a school for the disabled called King George VI. And because of the programs that they have there, they've been able to provide drugs to. Uh, the HIV AIDS positive kids who go to that school. This is a boarding school. And it so happened that last term when kids went on holiday and this child was living with an uncle who was also suffering from HIV AIDS. This uncle used the medicine that was for this child who was getting access because they were in this particular school. And after a month, when this child was going back to school, the child was very sick and they ended up passing away. And this is how critical the shortage of drugs is.
You know what's next? We're tired of dying in the streets. We are tired of watching people die alone, afraid to live one day as an LGBT positive person in the nation's capital, but much more willing to die of AIDS. We are tired of having this building behind us silent as thousands of people have died in the course of this epidemic within the district lines. The demands that Teresa listed are right here. A couple of weeks ago, our own mayor said that he hadn't met an H3 positive person. Well, a handful of us are going to go introduce ourselves and make sure that we give him the demands. We also have hundreds of signatures of people around the city that as a resident of Metropolitan Washington demand that the District of Columbia fund housing for all people living with HIV and AIDS who need a home in the district. But we're not stopping there. We need to have the comprehensive citywide plan that addresses all the factors that contribute to the epidemic. So we need to make sure that we are not waiting anymore. System we are failure, demanding failure of the system, health care, housing, health to skelter, genocide of the sick, or the rich got richer and the sick died quicker. Need proof? Look around. All these bodies scattered on capital grounds. But look how quick a H1N1 vaccine was found. Wow. All because gays and poor people have become like nouns. You come on now. And love is no longer a verb but a meaningless, emotionless word that is never observed. Uh -huh. And they got the nerve to cut funding and spend all the money on war and none for housing. Now how is that sounding?